Hey you guys, Cat McAdam here. So today's try video, we are trying three things. And it's kind of a candy theme, so first thing we're going to start off with, Jolly Rancher Cereal. Unfortunately, they do not come in smaller boxes, so this is the only size they come in. Which, <laughs> I hope I like these because, you know, or at least someone in my household likes these because otherwise, um, that's a big old waste of cereal, isn't it? So, let's read on the box. Let's see. For, the serving is for one cup, but we're just going to go with the side that has with a half a cup of skim milk. Ew. Uh, actually, I'll just go back and forth between just cereal and with, you know, white water. Ugh. Okay, so, with normal Jolly Rancher cereal, it's 140 calories with 1.5 grams of total fat, uh, zero cholesterol, 31 grams of total carbs, one gram of dietary fibers, ooh, 12 grams of sugar, with 12 grams of added sugar, and a protein of two. Now, really, with the skim milk, the only thing that's changed is the calories is 190, and... 1% of cholesterol, 13% of total carbs, which but the normal is just 11. Um, yeah, that's really it. There's the only difference there might be is, you know, with vitamins and stuff. That's really about it. So let's open up this big old bag of sugar-coated candy cereal. And here's a question for you. Do you open your bag from... It's going to be your guys... It's my left. Maybe your right. Do you open it on this side? Do you open it on this side? Or you just open the whole darn thing? In my household, I'm putting this in. He's <laughs> trying to figure that out. But here we go. Oh, well, you also remember Scissors Girl? When it first opened, I my first song was Fruity Pebbles, but I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in years, so now I'm not really smelling anything. What's up with that? Yeah, I'm not smelling anything, which is really weird. So I'm just going to pour it into a mug instead of a bowl, because it makes it easier. see how bright these things are. That's just a blue. 
blue, which, you know, is from what the box looks like. It says blueberry. I'm going to assume this might be cherry. <sighs> I see the dreaded grape. I hate grape. I hate grape flavored things. I like grape. I like white grape juice and I like grapes, but I don't like grape flavored anything else. Oh, that's the dreaded grape. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious. Okay, because one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five flavors. Supposedly. But I'm going to assume I assume the red was cherry because that's what's on there. The green is green apple. That's a given. Blue is blue raspberry. But I don't see what the color would be for watermelon. Now maybe watermelon is just at the bottom? Or maybe they just made it the same color as cherry? That's weird. I gotta look inside. Hold on. No, it all, all, I don't see it. another color that could possibly be for watermelon. So, I don't know, maybe I got yet. Oh, that's all nice and dandy now, isn't it? I would have liked to have seen what, you know, watermelon would have, how it would have turned out. I'm drinking my milk down so I can pour this easier. Well, actually, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and dry them in there. Dry them. Try them in their dry state. So, blue raspberry. There's no blue raspberry flavor. In fact, I don't think that was flavor. Okay. I'll hope that there will be flavor once I pour the milk on them. But let's see what the others. I could be wrong. Here's what I think supposed to be cherry. No. No, no cherry. No flavor. Not even green. Okay. I guess I will have to try the dreaded grape. Watch. This will be the one that end up having the flavor. And I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> oh. Oh. There was flavor for like a second, but it lasted. Okay, so I'm going to pour the milk and hope I don't spill it on me, and I'm going to hope very much that if I give it some time and let it soften. No, 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 don't be on my chair. Get back in there. That maybe there will be flavor. Because if I don't get any flavor, that is a big box of disappointment. I mean, granted, I don't like gray, but I would have rather had, I'd rather rather there had been actual gray flavor than just, I don't know. There was no flavor. And it could just because it's in this dry state. Maybe it will have flavor once it gets all... <laughs> Wet. <sighs> I don't know how long this is going to take. I mean... Actually, I'm just kind of already disappointed because that first shot made me think Fruity Pebbles, but... The even the fruity pebbles, you know, you got some flavor of what it's supposed to be. This kind of made me think of, um, 
Naturios. I don't want to say Kix because even Kix has a flavor. Not that you would like the flavor, but at least it has a flavor. This is more like just eating plain little balls. <laughs> Get back in there. I don't know what else to think, so. Okay, I think it is soft enough. <laughs> don't give me all the crave there. Yeah, there is barely any flavor, and I don't think, because I've had this waiting for me to try since February, I think. So, I don't think, and just so you know, because I don't know what day this will actually come out, but it is officially now April 2nd, so I don't think a little over a month Probably almost two, but I don't think it would lose its flavor like that. That... Uh, okay, let me try one. Yeah, there's no flavor. It's as if I'm eating, like, a cereal-based, um, grain corn puff? I guess that's why I keep thinking Kix, because that's the best way I could describe it, but not the flavor, because Kix has flavor, and this has no flavor. I am highly disappointed. I can't believe it. I can't believe that the only reason why you would even give it that name is because the bright colors. No. Oh, there's the tiny flavor. The tiniest of flavor. Mm -mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just boring. And nothing is worse than boring cereal. I mean, at least... There goes a plane. Okay, at least with some cereals... You expect for it not to be exciting, so you can, you automatically assume that you should add, like, sugar, or if you're me, you put chocolate milk. <laughs> but you expect this to taste like the flavors of the candy. You don't expect it to taste like you should be adding flavor to it, or sweetness. It's not even sweet. It's not sweet at all. And it's by General Mills. We all know that they can do it. Okay? I mean, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles. Tell me, why does this ha not have flavor? Huh? What is wrong with this? I mean, did I just end up getting a bad batch where, like, they forgot to put the flavors? Yeah, there's no flavor. In fact, I will get back to this because I'm going to hope that maybe if I let it soak even more, maybe flavor come out. But right now, I'm very disappointed in that. Very freaking disappointed in this cereal. <sighs> I didn't think I'd end up getting a disappointment from cereal like this. Flavor! Where's my flavor? Okay. I'm gonna hop on to my next candy. Wait. There better be flavor. And that is the Sour Patch Bite Size Raging Red, which has its flavors of strawberry, watermelon, look at that, you cereal, 
cherry and raspberry. Okay, now, I grew up with Sour Patch. I like Sour Patch. Probably one of the few sour things I actually do like. Okay. So we are going to look at the calories, okay? Okay. For 10 pieces, you get 120 calories with 3 grams of fra fra 3 grams of fat. There we go. I can English, I swear. 23 grams of carbs. Ooh. Zero dietary fiber. 11 grams of sugar, which includes 11 grams of added sugar. Oh, hey, sugar high. But it's got one gram of protein. So you're getting your protein in. Okay. At least that opened easier. Oh, okay, smells sweet, but I definitely got a free. So let's see. Oh, what are you? Mm. It's either cherry or watermelon. I'm probably wrong. But see, that's how they look like. Mmm. I want to say it's watermelon because there's not a whole lot of flavor and usually watermelon really doesn't have too much flavor so and one of the things I like about Sour Patch that they are sour but not overly sour but they certainly make my mouth water okay, I'm just going to assume this is raspberry because it's certainly as dark as raspberry on the package. See? So. Hmm. Raspberry. Open your eyes. As you can see, I'm not usually into sour. Uh, okay, strawberry. Now, all right, watermelon. Cherry is the only one I haven't really tried. Uh, oh, there's there's a cherry. Okay, I will try all of these. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last one. Jerry. Open. Open. Okay. These are good. And sour, like they're supposed to be. And they taste like the flavors that they are. Yeah, I, you realize at this point I'm going to be really salty about cereal. But this was good. I enjoyed these very much. I don't get to, I don't really eat Sour Patch too often, but these are pretty good. <sighs> I'll have to share them with my husband. Okay. Now, for the last ones, they are not sour, but I'm pretty sure most of us know the brand at least. Truly! You know, the, 
brand of gummies, but those really trippy, weird commercials that you think you might be on some kind of a trip. <laughs> so anyway, these are Trolley Soda Poppers. Where we have the flavors of Cherry Cola, Root Beer, Lemon Lime, Cola, and Orange. <sighs> Inspired by the chillest beverages around. Nice. Okay, so our calories for 10 pieces, 100 calories, already better than the sour punch in calories at least, zero fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of total sugar, which includes 12 grams of added sugar, so it's not better than the sour punch with the sugar, but it's got 2 grams of protein. So, let's finish opening these up and see what we get. I smelled cola. I mean, there's cola in here, but it. Mm. Smells like. Oh, cola. That does not smell nice. Okay, so I grabbed two flavors by chance root beer. And orange. Two flavors that I like. So, we're gonna try the root beer. <laughs> These are really chewy. Um, okay flavor. I mean, you know, it's root beer. But... It tastes almost as if it's the kind of root beer that's starting to go flat. But it's not quite there yet. If you know what I mean by that, so... Okay. Orange. It's okay, the orange flavor is subtle, pretty subtle, so you'd have to really kind of chew on it before it really, you really get the flavor. Okay, so, hey, come on, I worked this hard, where's the lemon lime? Oh, there it is, there's like one in there. Okay. Let me see if I can find the. I think that's root beer. Root beer. Oh, there we go. Cola. Okay, because I tried those two. So it should be one, two, three. Okay. There we go. So, here's lemon lime. Here is the cherry cola. And they do each say what they actually are. It's just a little hard to read it on some of them. But this one I could actually read cherry cola. And last but not least, cola. And it looks like, the color looks like diluted cola. So, yeah, I have real high hopes. <laughs> Lemon lime.
Mm. Very subtle again on the flavor. You get a little bit of it. But I get more flavor even at a Sprite Zero, so. Okay. Jerry? Again, subtle, but I tasted a little bit more of the cherry than I did of the cola, so, which isn't a bad thing, but uh, if you're a cherry cola fan, you expect it to taste like cherry cola, and it tastes more like cherry. And now, for the cook. It tastes exactly what I thought it looked. Even though the flavor was subtle, again, it, I definitely tasted diluted Coke. So, yeah. So, that was how many flavors? One, two, three, four. <laughs> One out of five flavors I didn't like. Honestly, I think the best flavor out of all of them would be probably the root beer, only because I get more of the flavor. And then it's the cherry, and then the orange, and lemon lime, and yeah. Yep. As for the sour pow punch, I keep calling it pouch. Um, I liked all the flavors. They were. None of them really stuck out to me. I just liked them all. And now, we have gone back to the cereal. We're going to see how it tastes. Now, I can tell you one thing. The color of the milk changed a little. Okay. Just going to try one. Okay, try all the flavors now. Nope. I know how to describe it now. It's like both now the dry and the wet version is like if you had tricks. And you left it in the milk for quite some time, and all the flavor is out of the little, out of the little trick things. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like as if you've left trick cereal, or even possibly even fruit. No, not really fruity pebbles, but maybe Fruit Loops. Um, you know, any kind of cereal that is like a ball shape, or like a shape. You know, and you've just left it in the milk for, I don't know, 10 minutes. That's what it tastes like. It's mushy, disappointing, and even in the dry version, it is disappointing. And it tastes like wet cereal that's been left out for, in the milk, for 10 minutes, 10 or 20 minutes. General Mills, you've disappointed me. And I like a lot of your cereals. But that's not one of them. And don't get me wrong, I will finish that. And I might eat the box. Not the box itself, the cereal. I might still eat it because I don't want to waste my money. Jiggle, jiggle. <sighs> but if I had to pick my favorite out of all three of these, I would... I mean, it's not going to be the cereal. 
I mean, these were candy themed. So if I had to choose my favorite candy item, whether it's actual candy or cereal or candy that tastes like soda, I would choose the Sour Pat. I did it again. I choose the Sour Punch. At least there's flavor, and it is exactly what it is. Sour. So, yeah, that's number one. The Soda Poppers is number two, and obviously the cereal is number three. So, General Mills, redo your formula. Give it actual flavor. You have the candies. You have the technology. You can do it. Do it. And that's it. Um, I will see you guys next time. Um, if you want to see more of these, um, click the subscribe button. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see when these come out, hit that bell and make it ring. And hopefully next time I will have better cereal. Till next time, you guys.